Good morning, Maya Parbak. Here's the plan. Walls upstairs, electrical downstairs. Plumbing, I think, upstairs, although I haven't seen the plumber yet. The swimming pool, we may get to see the next step. I don't know that for sure. Don't know the plan for the pool, to be quite honest but I think they'll probably finish that plastering that they were doing on the walls today and then we'll see what comes next. And maybe a little bit more progress on that perimeter wall, the bit around the corner where they're still hacking away at tree stumps at the same time as trying to get tie beams in. I do have a request today. We still, nobody knows how YouTube works, but could I ask, please, Stick a like on this. Um, we're very fortunate. A lot of you do that already. But everybody, stick a like on here. And for a bonus, put a comment in. If you haven't done it before, there's nothing to lose. Put a comment in, anything. Tell me this is all rubbish. Tell me the weather's nice where you live. It doesn't matter. What could possibly go wrong? Right here at the west wall, Webb is removing forms from the top tie beams. So I am now confident that all of the west wall is done. As always, apart from whatever we decide to put up on top of those beams, but that's for later and does not count in the finish that wall competition. So west wall, done. Keep your dizzy pills close. Big old tree stump, still here. But columns going in. A couple of these were in yesterday. Uh, but more work on those columns today. So we've got four guys in total over here, including brother-in-law Lisa over there, who's still on clearing duty. We will see what happens with these impediments today. And those bananas, I think Kevin Clare pointed those out yesterday. Those bananas look like they're almost ready to pick. And as always, nothing happens without this kind of work that goes on in, if you like, the engine room. Preparing the materials, getting everything ready then mixing concrete, then messing around with rebar, you name it. But the unglamorous side here, but equally as important. Here at the pool, to paraphrase an episode in Blackadder, we have a wall of pure green. If you've never seen Blackadder, go find it. Uh, yeah, so this, wall they're extending further along and as before immediately going along after the painting on of the boysen compound they're going back and adding the plaster over the top i'm moderately confident this part of the process will be done today uh, back inside all sorts of shipping out going on I feel mean again. I've had to ask them to switch off their music so YouTube doesn't block us. But loads of chipping out going on in this doorway and we've got the electrician in the dirty kitchen. We'll go and have a look at what he's chipping away at. More chipping out here with our electrician. Very ably assisted by Ariel with his back to us. Pipes going all over the show. And of course, you know, this being the dirty kitchen, we will want to have multiple electrical outlets in here for all sorts of appliances that might at some point be located here. The beginnings of a new wall upstairs here above the entrance hall leading into one of the bedrooms, the one that faces directly east or one of the two that face directly east. So that's in progress. And 
Over there, JR still getting the wall for the same bedroom across to the corridor, getting that up to height. And it's raining. I've had that for a long time. It's very light at the moment, but who knows, we may get an interruption. And over in the distance, our plumber is here. So, yes, more of that orange PVC piping will be going into place today. More new walls. This is basically the back side. Ooh, uh, the back side of the master bedroom walk-in closet. And further across, that becomes the master bedroom bathroom. And another new one over here that Marvin's working on, facing west for the next bedroom along. And this is what happens when you turn your back. I haven't been around this side of the house, oh, I don't know, not to look at this properly anyway, for a day or so. And they have already got most of the plastering done. Now what I don't know is whether there is any waterproofing that takes place here. I would have thought that would make sense, but we'll see. But it has actually now ended up being, I think, three chambers. Whereas previously, I said it was two. Well, that's what I was told. So things do change. Or I just misunderstood. Well, the engineer was close by and has said, no, there is no waterproofing required for the septic tanks. There you go. Any builders amongst you? If you disagree, let me know. Any non-builders amongst you, if you disagree or agree, let me know. Early-ish afternoon, walls upstairs. Both sides of the staircase now fully up to height. This uh, wall at the back of the master closet and bathroom getting higher. I think that wall is higher than it was over on the west side of the property. Dizzy pills required. And I can't remember if all of this was previously up to height but it is now. And JR's working on those walls over there for the bedroom that is in the northwest corner. And Ronwell is making more progress on the wall just above the entrance hall. And I'm in the way, more hollow block on the way, I've got to move. The question was, what comes next? And at the moment, they're fiddling with rebar. Basically, around from roughly where this first blue pipe is, I believe, stretching around a little bit further, there will be a bench, I think we've talked about that before, inside the pool and some water jets. But in terms of what comes next for waterproofing, they're gonna do the whole pool again with yet another plaster coat layer which will again include the Sahara waterproofing compound. They're not gonna put another layer of the Boysen waterproofing material in first. It's just gonna be another layer of plaster coat with that Sahara mixture. And it will be smoother this time, I am told. Following that, they get to work on the floor. And I'll have to wait and see what they do with that back on the wall around the corner. Well, it's actually a wall now. So the tree stumps, still there, but they did get them far enough out the way to be able to get those beams, tie beams in and then start building up. And already, Webb's working on the first intermediate, well, the intermediate tie beam. And beyond the three levels that are up at that level, three sections that are on that level. There's another one, two, three that are tie beamed and concreted in and concrete hollow blocks following now. 
behind that, very big tree stump right in the way. Right, I'm in here because I'm about to show you some renderings of various areas downstairs. Some of them are just kind of iterations of what's gone before, some of them are completely new. I would like your thoughts on any and all of them, but very specifically at the end, there are two renderings looking from where I'm standing now back towards the stairs. In one version, there are no walls at all, either on this side where the sunroom is, or on this side where the dining room is. In the second one, there is a glass wall on the dining room side. What I would really appreciate from you guys is, which one do you think looks better? They are designated A and B, so in the comments, that's all you gotta do. A, if you prefer that one, B, if you prefer that one. You can say more than that, you can just leave it as A or B. If you're really pernickety, you could put C and say you don't like either of them, do it all again. I think we've got a pretty good idea which one we're gonna go for, but I would really like more opinions on this. So, please take a look, A or B, or C. The bell has rung, 4.30, day's finished. Here at what is actually part of the south wall, the bit around the corner, they have got six sections of wall up to the height of the first tie beam. We'll go down the other end and you can get a better view of what lies ahead. Standing outside the property, this tree stump is right on the property line. Dizzy peel is required. So is this one. So is this one. And right in the corner, so is this one. Heading back that way, They've got a banana plant to get rid of, but pretty much a free run down to the connecting wall at the corner. What's that, 20, 30 meters away? At the pool, they have started another layer of plaster. And it actually looks like underneath, they did use some of the boysen material again. They're also creating a ridge all the way around this deep end, about a foot off the floor. I don't know if that's just something to stand on, a kind of a safety thing, or if that has some other higher purpose. We'll find out maybe tomorrow. Upstairs, this corner bedroom, the northwest corner, is getting a little better defined with the wall here, the doorway, the wall here, bathroom behind. That wall was finished previously. I don't think there's any more progress with that wall in the middle. But over here, bear with me. The 
wall that backs onto the master walk-in closet and bathroom. It's had more work, as has this wall for the bedroom on the uh, southwest corner. Apologies. Brain freeze. So walls continuing to go up here. And lastly, a little bit more of this exterior south-facing wall for the master closet and bathroom. There we go. The end of day 111. As Pink Floyd might say, lots more bricks in the walls. So, good progress with walls up there. Progress that's slightly less visible on the pool. Progress with the wall around the corner. And your input now, please. A or B on that rendering of that corridor. Or C, if you care to do that and say, either don't say anything, it's just C because you don't like any of it. Or C with a reason. What would you do differently? Stick something in. Put in J, if you like. Try and explain it if you do. Okay, see you tomorrow.